So, friends let us discuss one last example problem using non prismatic members which is a very common application of show structures depending upon the top side requirement there may be a possibility that the beam moment of inertia can vary depending upon the span length. Therefore, let us see how we can handle this kind of problem using substructure technique. What is a substructure technique? The one which you discussed the last lecture that is a problem with special boundary condition or special support conditions. can be handled as a conventional problem by partitioning the matrices. Okay, this is what we call a substructure technique. Let us take an example problem and solve this using the computer code. Let us say I have a problem with moment of inertia and cross section area varying as seen here. Let us say this is my end A, this is B and this is C. and this has 4 meter long and this is 2 meter long. This has 1.5 times of moment of inertia whereas, this section has i whereas, E in both cases is same and A is 1.25 A whereas, this is A. So, E is standard section may be steel or concrete moment of inertia is 0 0.0031 meter to the power 4 and area is about 0 0.150 meter square. This is subjected to a low only on the span A B which is 20 kilo Newton per meter. We will analyze this problem using substructure technique. So, now for as far as I am concerned, we will handle this problem as if there are two members A B and B C separately. So, let us now mark the degrees of freedom. Let us say at this joint we assume a structural hinge therefore, there will be free rotation, there will be free displacements along y and along x axis. So, this is my x m and this is my y of the member. Okay. These are unrestrained degrees of freedom. Now, the restrained degrees of freedom are theta 4, theta 5 and delta 6, delta 7, delta 8 and delta 9. So, now we understand that unrestrained degrees of freedom are 3 in number that is theta 1, delta 2 and delta 3. Restrained degrees of freedom are 6 in number starting from theta 4 till delta 9 which are marked in red color. These are marked in green color. Okay. Similarly, 
the delta vector the displacement vector will also have 9 by 1 which will be theta 1 delta 2 delta 3 then theta 4 theta 5 delta 6 delta 7 delta 8 and 9 where there will be a partition here. So, I can now say this vector can be partitioned as delta u sub vector and delta r because these are unrestrained degrees of freedom is it not and these are restrained degrees of freedom. We have assumed an internal hinge internal hinge at the point of change in cross section or moment of inertia. Okay. So, we are dividing the structure into substructures as you have seen in figure 2. This is figure 2. This is the original figure which is the original problem. Okay. Now, we will handle this problem as if there are two members and we will write down this stiffness matrix. Let us say K A B will have E constant of Okay. So, let us mark the degrees of freedom rotation 4 1 then displacement about y 6 and 2 then displacement along x 8 and 3 that is the standard stiffness matrix let us say 4 1 6 2 8 and 3 okay. 4 1 6 2 8 and 3. Okay. So, 4, 1, 6, 2, 8 and 3. So, we know this value is actually 4 e i by L substitute for e i etcetera and try to find the values which if you substitute this will become 0 0.0047 okay. and this will become 0 0.0023 and this will become 0 0.0018 minus 0 0.0018 and this will be 0 and this will be 0 0.0023, 0 0.0047, 0 0.0018, 0 0.0018, 0 and 0, 18, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.0018 again. 0 0.0009, 0 0 0 0 0 0 negative, negative again, triple 0 9, triple 0 9 positive, 0 0 and these coefficients of stiffness matrix will be 0 and this will be actually A E by L, E is anyway common, if we substitute I will get 0 0.0. 0469. So, this may K A B matrix which is a conventional stiffness matrix of 6 by 6. Okay. We have not done a special element here. Similarly, I can do for K B C again E multiplier common out. Let us see the degrees of freedom for K B C. So, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9 that is rotation about x and y, I mean j and k, then displacement along y 2, 1, 7, displacement along x 3 and 9. So, 1, 5, 2, 7, 3, 9.
this A e by L and so on. Now, we can assemble these two and get the total stiffness matrix k total. Okay. So, the k total will be 9 by 9 with all the 9 labels, we can assemble them then get the partition of this. Okay. Let us do this exercise using the computer program. <coughs> 